Hey guys, Mechanic CG here and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport. Today is episode number 57. If you guys do enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and let's get into the content. This video was streamed live on Twitch. Come watch us live with the link in the description. Come on, Eileen. <laughs> oh. Um, do you not get Oasis in where you're from, Eileen? Oasis is, like, extremely popular in the UK. It's by the uh, Coca-Cola company. So, it's the same people who make Coke. Not that kind of Coke. That's a cartel. <laughs> but, yeah, no. I think, I remember you saying you're from, I think you said Sweden. Or you mentioned Sweden. So, I doubt Oasis would be in Sweden, to be honest. Whoa, what the fuck was that? Come on, Skyline, you prick. Oh, it's neck and neck between the Skyline and the Ferrari. And the Saline. Sailing to the Ferrari neck and neck into the second to last corner, but the Ferrari's got it. Overshot the corner. So Sailing goes around that final corner there. Very nicely with a skyline on his bunda. God. <laughs> Good old commentary. I love the fact that they've got like that crane there with the camera crew on. It's brilliant. A little bit tail happy again. And I'm from Sweden. Will you remember now? Yes, I will re definitely remember now. I did get it right though, so... Props to me, I guess. Oh my god, this thing is a tank. Dancing in the dark. Dancing in the dark. I'm dancing in the dark. Little bit of a slide going on here and there and everywhere and I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to take the Ferrari for the next two um, our GTS championships. I need more of these songs. I need more of these songs. I don't even know what this genre is called. It's like a specific genre. And I want more of these kind of songs. But I cannot figure out what the genre is. Who asked? I asked. I'm glad to see you again, Pandy. <laughs> Dancing in the dark. To dancing in the dark. I'm dancing in the dark. <laughs> yep, 
G'day, cunt. Yay! I've scratched off some yellow paint onto the wall. Charming. Yo, mama. I don't even understand your mama jokes. They're just so old now. It's like ancient history kind of vibes. <laughs> I'm an orphan. Can't be my mother. Dun, 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 dun. Dancing in the dark. Dancing in the dark. Dancing in the dark. Shut up, Pandy. Pandy, you know I'm going to wait four years, right? As soon as it's your 20th, fuck you. You're getting as many oldie comments as possible. I don't give two shits. Because if I'm an oldie now, that still means you'll be an oldie <laughs> when you hit 20. <laughs> Dancing in the dark. <laughs> if you survive to 20, that's another question, to be honest. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Every time, every time, every time I hear this groove, it makes me want to move. Must be the feeling it brings to you that makes you feel what you do. Every time. I hear this groove, makes me want to move, must be the feeling it brings to you, it makes me feel what you do, what you do, what you do, baby. This is why I hate the AI in this game. Because this is how you would expect hard AI to behave. If you'll only believe in me. Yep. <laughs> Prepare, Aaron. Because I, I will do the same to you. In an armchair. The fuck? <laughs> the way it is. Don't you be like that. I will love you in the sea. If you'll only believe in me. I will love you forever If you don't need believe in me Don't you think like that I will love you endlessly I love this song 
I love the lyrics. I can't remember what the original song is, but I know there's a Makoto version of the song. There's, there's quite a few remixes of that song. I will love you in the sea. If you'll only believe in me. Oh my god! Keep the car going. Keep the car stable. Keep the car on the road. I hear this groove. Makes me wanna move. Must be the feeling it brings to you. That makes you feel what you do. Every time. Yes, everyone should be concerned. I like to play with my penis. I love how that was nearly a week ago and people are still <laughs> going on about it. I like to play with my penis. Such a good clip. Yeah, last time I checked it was on 31. It needs 34, I believe. To be first. And also, in all honesty, I have no clue when it updates. Holy ball sack. Right, we'll save that one. 71 grand. Woohoo! Alright, it's time for Silverstone. This one's... I, I don't even know anymore, to be perfectly honest. Okay, so the Ferrari's going to run extremely slow. It's trying to deliberately ruin... Mirais. Skyline, I'm coming through. And you're going to move. The other saline has quite a substantial amount of distance. It's a question of how much distance they're going to gain on these straights here. I'm not looking forward to the Nürburgring. I really am not. Nowhere else to go. Alright, no worries, Aaron. Share that uh, video out before you go. <laughs> Let's get it on that be right back screen. Never let you go. Never let you go.
Not bad. It is weird how narrow this driving line is actually drawn out. Not bad. Hey, awesome. Did you pop it in the uh, mech clips section? Alright. Night, Aaron. Have a good night, mate. See you later. Thank you so much for stopping by for the stream. Ah, are you able to pop it in the mech clips one? It will uh, appear in threads, archived threads. Cheers, Aaron. Have a good night. See you later. Oh, Jesus. On the way. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. It's fine. No worries. I will sort it out in a bit. About halfway through this race now. All right, not bad. <clears throat> Ow. Right.
Lovely red hot brakes. Brakes look awesome in this game. Not bad. Yo, Mitsubishi fan. Welcome back. How you been? Oh, shit. Go back on the track. There you go. Bum, 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 bum. We go 78 laps in a race car is that irl or on like forza or what if so what car that's pretty cool though 78 laps around a track is quite a lot on either to be honest in gran turismo ah fair enough yeah 70 like uh what what track and what car Mazda seven eight seven B. I'm trying to think how long that would take. Oh, is this on Gran Turismo four? I know there's a seventy eight lap Cote d'Azur mission. Yeah. Um. I assume that would probably have taken about. An hour and 40 to do. It's Gran Turismo 3. Ah, close enough. <laughs> yeah, I assume that would take about an hour and 40 minutes to do, wouldn't it? I still think the PS2 is one of the best consoles that's ever existed. Two hours and seven minutes. Ah, fair enough. Yeah, that seems a, a bit more reasonable, actually, because it's not a Formula 1 car, is it? Formula 1 normally takes about an hour and 40 minutes, so... Not too bad there. 1208. I'll take that. For 74 grand. Alright, attempt number two. Got some pendulum going on in the background. Good tunes. Is it flowing? It is an extremely challenging track. Cheeky bastard. <laughs> Cheeky bastard tried to crash into my car. At which point I say, Nah! -uh! 
What the fuck happened there? Why the hell did my car just slam into the wall? Any signs of slowing? Meow, meow. Meow, meow. Oh, come on, Ferrari. It's not a corner you need to slow down on. Get out of the way. Let the professionals do the job. While you amateur bastards stay behind. It is such a challenging track, but luckily in Forza Motorsport 1, for some reason, the track is extremely wide. I don't think they actually laser scanned or went to the track for this. Because this is seems extremely wide compared to Gran Turismo's variant. Yeah, Need for Speed um Need for Speed didn't get me into Pendulum. I can't remember what it was. It got me into Pendulum. But there was a game that had Pendulum in it. I don't know. I think it's just because I played a lot of racing games and a lot of racing games had like a pendulum song. And I was like, hmm. There's a correlation between all of this. And I started listening to Pendulum and I was like. This shit slaps. But I think the big one when I was like, oh, I really love this. So I was, um, what's it called? So I didn't really do too much listening to music. I sort of like was like, I had listened to Pendulum and been like, yeah, it's all right. Um, but I started playing Guitar Hero Live and for some reason they added a Pendulum song. I think they added two actually. Which, don't ask how Pendulum fits in with guitars and Guitar Hero. This, this seems a bit off. Um, but yeah, I played those songs like crazy. Full comboed. Uh, witchcraft on expert. So. I was pretty good at it. But, um. Yeah, I think that's what properly then got me into Pentium. And I was like, yeah, I'm listening to this non-stop now. And it was only when... I started listening to a lot more Pendulum songs that I noticed there was even more games that had Pendulum. Like, you had Need for Speed Hot Pursuit had a Pendulum song. I think uh, Need for Speed... I don't think Most Wanted had one. I'm not 100% sure. But I know Need for Speed Undercover had one. You then had... Uh, both Two of the Motorstorm games had Pendulum, along with... They both had The Chemists as well. The Chemist was another band, um, which actually Motorstorm got me into The Chemists. But uh, The Chemists have a lot of songs similar to Pendulum in racing games. Um, Dirt 2, Chemist was in that. Pendulum wasn't actually in Dirt 2 as well. But The Chemist was in Dirt 2, Chemist was in a um, couple of other Dirt I think there was uh, Onrush as well. Had the chemists in. So the chemists are basically Pendulum, but different singers, really. Oh, shit. They both have a similar vibe, though. Is it raining? My game I appreciates music from video games. Yeah. I do like... Um, I pay attention when it comes to video games to soundtrack and stuff like that. Since I've been streaming, I haven't been able to do that as much. Because obviously I mute a lot of the audio anyways beforehand. 
So I don't really get to judge the past like two or three years. I haven't really judged many video games, but Gran Turismo Seven, um, I think was the last video game that I had the music on, and I turned it off because the music was so shit in it. Honestly, the music in Gran Turismo Seven. There was some tunes to it that went well, but I had to turn it off. It wasn't great. Um, and there wasn't a great selection either. There was one drum and bass song on the entire song list for Gran Turismo 7, which for a racing game is not enough. You need more drum and bass. Drum and bass is what makes racing games. Drum and bass and electronic music. I think there was one electronic song, one drum and bass song. That's not enough. <laughs> um, there was quite a few other games as well. I think Dirt 2 was one of the few games that absolutely nailed the soundtrack, though, for racing games. Like it was, it was perfection. The, the art style was perfect. The sa the car selection was perfect. The map selection was perfect. And when it comes to um, the soundtrack, you had Pendulum in there. Uh, uh, maybe not. No. But you definitely had The Chemist. You had The Prodigy. Who were absolutely massive. You had Elbow. That um, grounds for divorce song. Which is... Amazing. Which again was in Guitar Hero. <laughs> Honestly, Gran Turismo 7 is well worth it. Just for the cars. Um, and the driving. The driving experience of Gran Turismo 7 is one of the best in any racing game that I've ever experienced. Um, I can't say how it feels on PS4. Without the adaptive triggers. Because I have to play it with the adaptive triggers. So. But with the adaptive triggers. It's, it's a brilliant game. Um, it's well worth it. Um, yeah. Don't really have much to say about it though. It's just worth it. It's obviously not the best. Gran Turismo there's been. It's not Gran Turismo 4. Everyone was like, oh, it's going to be like Gran Turismo 4. But I will definitely say the driving, the visuals, everything like that, the tracks are better than Gran Turismo 5 and 6. The events, however, and the way that they've structured the events and the races is worse. It feels like they've put no effort into the actual, like, making championships and stuff like that. Um... If it feels similar to sport, then yeah, that's that's fine. If you're alright with GT Sport, you'll be fine with GT7 on PS4. If you're on PS5, it feels completely different with the adaptive triggers. Because you have so much more control over it. And with the haptic feedback and all that. You feel a lot more with it. Um, but yeah. There's obviously a lot of different cars it's worth it it's worth having a look taking a look seeing what it's like the only thing is yeah the events are pretty crap but the mission races are much much better than gt4 gt5 and gt6 combined mission races are pretty good they're challenging but yeah they're pretty good the license is challenging, pretty good. Circuit experience, extremely challenging, but pretty good. The only thing I wish is that there was a difficulty option, so you could set it easier if you wanted to. Because at the end of the day, if you're going to lock rewards behind... Uh, to be fair, you can buy the cars that are in the rewards anyway, so... Eh. Yeah, maybe it's fine then. Oh my god, this car is 
planted through there. But for some reason, unstable on almost every other goddamn track. I just realized I gotta get six thumbnails. Because I forgot to get one thumbnail for the last session. And we've done five videos today. So, we got a lot of stuff to get. I've just realized the time as well. Everyone's probably going to sleep. And eh, no one sent me a text message, so I think we're fine. To happen. It's a handful. Agreed. But it shouldn't be this much of a handful. <laughs> And especially with a game like this, where there seems to be a lot of scripting going on behind the scenes for the AI cars that is boosting their performance. Holy crap. Enjoy the circus. This is a much steeper section normally. Makes boomer hands. Kind of why I use a PS5 controller, to be honest, because it's much more comfortable. They've definitely changed how that corner is. On the Nürburgring. I don't remember it being like that on Gran Turismo 7. I thought it was a lot sharper. Something's changing. Get back on the track. There you go. Pandy, guess what? After this, this is going to be 69 events completed. And that will also mean we'll only have six more events to do. So probably one or two more streams. I can work with any controller. It's not that I can't work with an Xbox 360 or a PS4 controller or any of those. It's just the PS5 controller is the best controller on the market at the moment. So I'm going to use the best on the market. Like, without a shadow of a doubt, I'm a PlayStation fan, I'm an Xbox fan, I'm everything. I just like games. So. I will never event 69. Yes, I know. But yeah. A PS5 controller is one of the best on the market at the moment. When it comes to its... So what it does is for like old school vibration, it emulates the vibration on the controller. And I'm going to be honest, the emulated vibration is still pretty darn good. I don't like that. I don't know my cars. I do. I just don't know how to drive this one. Got fucking saline on my ass. Such a solid bit of kit. One point seven seconds. Got to keep on that an eye on that car behind time. And this is where the finish line for that uh, international A test is. An absolute bitch to complete. I do need to get a PlayStation wheel 
like a not a Logitech. I'd probably get a Fanatec PlayStation Wheel, that Direct Drive one that I can use on PC as well. Those rear tires are shot. So how I'm still doing this, I've got zero idea. Don't even want to take my eyes away from this screen. I don't even want to fucking blink. In all honesty. Because blinking is how you fail. Ah, uh, like then. Bum, 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 bum. I have a distance. Oh my god, we got it. Just about. 1630.839. Save that replay just in case we use it. And... Save complete, press OK, we'll take our money, we'll get up to level 49, and we got a Mi 412 prototype supercar. Amazing, but I don't need it no more. Woohoo. But I will take that number three CLK DTM, because I probably will use that. And there's a Chrysler Mi 412, that thing is fucking crazy. I like it. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.